And we're back. 19. Face, Face of, of the, the demon. demon. We had a little bit of a crisis there for a second because we, <coughs> we went to next mission and it said um, 19. I think we thought we were on 18, but we'd mislabeled the files. Yeah. It was like Infinite Crisis or. It was a. Well, it was a identity identity limited crisis. crisis. It was identity a relative crisis? It was, it was a relatively finite crisis. <laughs> and then it became Final Crisis. DC Revolution. Was, wasn't, there, wasn't there an event called Identity Fuck you, DC! Wasn't there an event called Identity Crisis? Yes, there was. Like, it's when all the rest of the Justice League decided to do the smartest thing ever and mess with Batman's head. <laughs> As if it wasn't messed with enough. No, no, I messed with him to make him a better person. Oh. And it worked, until he found out. And then he got, <laughs> then he got pissed. That's, how, that's always how those thing, kind of things will end. Yeah, we, we, were, uh, <laughs> we were one episode short, but luckily Matt remembered that we... Mash two of the episodes together into one recording because the first mission in it was really short. Whether or not they end up being two distinct episodes, I'm still not sure, but you'll know that by now. In any case... Why did you kill my child? People answer when I speak! Well, I didn't kill your child. Why did you kill my child? Because you killed my mother. I suppose that's as good an answer as any. So it was revenge. I see. Technically, Dante didn't. Yeah, that's what I said. He doesn't know that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Freedom. Freedom. Well, you seem to have all the freedom you need. The freedom to murder my heir. I'm not talking about my freedom. I'm talking about mankind's. Mankind. And what would mankind do with freedom? Suppose. Oh, not this again. Because when I arrived, they had it. And what do you think they did with it? They fought. They killed. They stopped. Stop. I was called here by humans who wished to pay me tribute. So yeah, it's this again. Not only does he think he's a god, he's also delusional. Oh, hi. Come on, Dante. What did he merge into limbo? He just sort of slipped in at a moment. You know, in this. You're right. It wasn't for mankind, it was... It was for revenge. I gotta tell you, Killing your child like that? Watching it explode into little wet chunks? Hearing you scream like one of your little demon bitches? Priceless. Oh god! <laughs> okay, step one complete. What the hell was step two? <laughs> I don't know, but step three better be profit or we're gonna be fucked. Oh, fuck. Oh, he's not. He's not. He's not Limboy. Uh, uh, ah! Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> he's going DBZ up in here. Virtual way to ruin good, too. I hope you're doing it. I really do like Mundus' theme. Agent Smith, when did you get here from the Matrix? You've aged. <laughs> and gone bald. And lost an eye. This has been his objective all along. Yeah, that's true. He did say exactly specifically that. Who knew this would be like a fetish type thing for this guy? Like, he's done this many times before, apparently. The rarest of delicacies, Nephilim art. That's really gotta hurt. Any time now. I don't. I don't know that he's practiced this. <laughs> it seems kind of kind of hard to practice. Uh oh. It's not something you get uh, very many tries at. Uh oh. They're bleeding together. Oh, I think we did a bad thing. Oh man, this is bad. <laughs> I think we did something wrong. Oh, hello. Ow. Oh, 
Headbutt, come on! Oh. That works too. <laughs> this is this is old school Devil May Cry. Spit can. You okay, Dante? Yeah, well, well, I always have my heart. Time. <laughs> You're welcome. You you shut up. Okay. Come to me, my cars. Come to me, my everything. Oh, man. Oh, man. Is he making it asphalt golem? He's making a city elemental. Cool. This is what Mundus... You'll look like in Devil May Cry 1. Not a city golem, but that's roughly what he looked like. Huh. Mundus. Thanks for killing all the tension. Don't forget Solid a Snake. I'll get his shot. Don't forget the what? Solid a Snake, the third brother. Oh! I guess that might be. If you, while they're discussing the strategy, you can hear Mundus like boasting in the background. You're an Mundus, asshole. you're an asshole. I'll try and get the eye exposed. Well, don't attack him. Just stay alive until. Why do I get to attack this fucking guy? Why shouldn't I attack him? Oh, Virgil gets his summoned swords. He's just rebuilding himself with other bits of the city. Oh goodness, oh gracious. So, uh, how do you like this music? It's very wobbly. <laughs> yes. But, sir, I, I do like that, um, the music for boss fights sort of borders on dubstep a lot of the time. Yeah. But it, for the Mundus fight, it just is straight mainlining it. Go, go, go! Do you have, like, permanent double trigger here? Yeah. Cool. Essentially. Hello! Do it! Yank his eye open. Pull his face apart. It's I like this right here. Double jump! Ooh, oh, God. Get out of my face! <laughs> I like this, that animation right there, like he's trying to part the veil of space-time. <laughs> Get out of the way, spatial distance. <laughs> I have a brother to save. <laughs> good save. Look, it's a good thing he's Nightcrawler or something. Dante, you see that? Yeah, I see it. He's still in there. We need to get in there and kill him. Okay, you know, we have another building Come on, that just go. didn't do it. We have an escort NPC who opens all the doors. Where's Cat during all this again? Um, she's still back at the base. She's safe and sound. Yeah. Although I don't know how safe anywhere is now. Yeah. Why was his body in there? Mundus is merged with his physical body. That's why he's protecting it. So if we kill his body, we kill Mundus. We have a weak point. Let us exploit it. I like the like spire sticking out of his shoulders. <laughs> So yeah, our progress is literally hampered here by how fast Virgil can run. If he gets stuck, he teleports like that. Hmm. But he is literally here to open all our doors. Except those. Except for the ones labeled Dante. <laughs> well, that's very handy you know, to label them. <laughs> labeled Dante. <laughs> oh, this seems bad. Oh no, he has a vacuum. Oh no! Oh god! Well, that's bad. It's another animation I like him, like, putting his jacket back on his shoulder. Yeah. What have you done to him? That's, he's not gonna fucking answer you! Oh god, this is bad. Run! And now.
now. We fight. We fight. First, we run like the uh, like the succubus fight from above. He can. There's multiple platforms, and he can make certain ones uninhabitable. Huh. With his lava breath. Oh. Ow! Don't get hit by the big boulders. Uh, ooh! I thought you'd gotten hit by it for a second there. Perfect, you made. Perfect, yes. motherfucker. I think you just show it off. Oh, did you just miss it? Oh god! This boss, if you have full health, will too hit you. This is the hardest part of Dante Must Die. Shit. That jump right there is really buggy. <laughs> Sometimes you'll just fall for no reason. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, just shoot him with your gun, why don't you? It works in Bayonetta. At any point during a boss, you can always just shoot them. Yeah, that's true. It just does hardly any damage. Yeah, I, that's the one thing I forgot. And I kept forgetting about this boss. Just don't jump. Notice I also used up all my Devil Trigger, apparently. I, I always. It, I think it just took your Devil Trigger back after it was finished giving Well, you that's time. that. You died. You was Gold Orb? Yes. Okay. I think you just. What the that's fucking. Oh, I didn't actually take any damage. Yeah. At least he takes a reasonable amount of uh, amounts of damage from your attacks. Unlike his spawn, who took virtually no damage. The only thing I like about the spawn, I don't like about this fight, is he's he is completely invulnerable if he just wouldn't attack me. Yeah. Well, I've destroyed one arm. I think an error that I noticed in this cutscene is... Yeah, you see down there, he's using the angel pull weapon to do a demon pull. Huh. Slight continuity error. Well, they're still fighting inside him. <laughs> Just punching each other. <laughs> That's what it's come to. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I imagine Mundus is much more comfortable inside Mundus than Virgil is. I would imagine. Step on that dough. It's like, what, it's like what's his name from Gurnlog and in the Anti-Spiral. We're yeah. just gonna have a fist fight to settle things. Yeah, in the movie at least. I like the I do like the amazing like Russian nesting doll sequence at the end where it's like this mech is f there's like a mech piloting a mech piloting a mech yeah, piloting yeah. a mech and it's like <laughs> Well, this mech is failing. I guess we'll eject the mech that's piloting this one and try the more. Yeah, see, this camera switches kind of sporadically. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, fuck. This is this is some pretty this is some pretty dumb step. You fucking asshole. I'd love to have something neat to Whoa, say or neat. fun or something. That did a lot of damage. Yeah, why weren't you reflecting that? <laughs> I I didn't know it did that! Well <laughs> You learn something new every day. You learn something new every playthrough. <laughs> eh, it's done. He's, don't worry, he's armless. Uh. Uh. I'm just going to pull out your other eye. Gruesome. Not seeing enough headbutts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna headbutt ya! What the? Oh, it's right. Oh, Nice. <laughs> And there comes the stupidest part of the fight. Oh, normally don't even home in on you. Like, I don't he just he roars at your face for no attack that you can lock onto. That's how you deal damage to him. I think he's in desperation mode. I think he's just really fucking frustrated. I, don't, I know a lot of people don't appreciate dubstep, but I think this is the what this is something that it's good for. 
Like a boss fight. Yeah. I'm not even facing the right direction. Fuck. I can't deflect those. Damn. It's a good thing he's an idiot. Fucking <laughs> uppercutted him! Just punch him in the mouth. I'm just gonna go in there myself. Fucking Ooh. samurai up in here. Cut him clean open. I kind of expected them to like come out emerged and co emerge covered in tar. Yeah. Well, that sure was a boss. <laughs> I think you could call it that. Difficult, really. I mean, I mean, I, I, I had already figured it out. Was the thing I've already fought that boss before. Except for the part where you can deflect his stuff. Yeah. Well, I knew you could do that. I did, was unaware that it did. Any, any significant amount of damage and was even worth the trouble. Yeah. Well, I did it. <laughs> now what? The well, city well, is a little bit in ruins. The <laughs> city is a little bit completely, totally fucked. Bro. Thanks, I could help, bro! Uh, <laughs> you could come here earlier next time. And they laughed. <laughs> the laugh overed quickly, though. <laughs> Oh, this is this is a weird sequence. Oh, it's Twitter. My goodness. Hashtag demons. <laughs> what if the actual hashtag demons brings up? Super Ninja Team. Huh. Humanity has finally woken up. Cleaning up his dad's mess. That's terrible. That's really what we are doing. It really wasn't his dad's mess. Oh, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's a direct quote from this exact same situation from Devil May Cry 1. Oh, I died. There's only two deaths in the whole LP. Yay! Yeah. Yay! So is, is the next mission One just... more mission. Okay, I guess we'll find out what it is. They're gonna, uh, the they're gonna double team cat, what else? Oh yeah. That's DLC. That's like... You suck. <laughs> <laughs> eh, well, I have a voice to no objection. <laughs>